Okay folks, we have a lot of active regions on the sun today, but no major CMEs or flares. You might have noticed over the last couple of weeks that a lot of the ejections coming off the sun haven't been from active regions, but they've been from these dark magnetic filaments, which we can now see writhing all over the earth facing disk. Just one more thing to watch out for as we go along. Current sunspot number is 185, uh, more than double NOAA and NASA's prediction for this cycle, not predicted to max out for another year and a half. You might remember last night we were talking about solar active region 11363. It had a beta gamma delta magnetic classification, but a Upon closer investigation, we were saying that we don't see a delta spot anywhere. We think this is just beta gamma. And in addition, look how many sunspots there are. Once you get too much above 10, chance of X flares goes way down. Well, today they seem to agree it's beta gamma, and there are 35 sunspots. Looking on the RSOE, the year of extreme weather continues. New Mexico set a record for snowfall last night. A little south of that, pretty much statewide in Mexico, they're having one of the largest droughts they've ever had there. A little south of that, in the Caribbean and Cocos Plate region, the Guatemalan volcano, which appeared to be subsiding yesterday, has woken up again this morning. Last night, we had a landslide in Trinidad and Tobago, when another one this morning in Colombia. Colombia volcano and Ecuador uh, volcano are ramping up as well. Folks, the world financial system truly is on the brink of collapse. Now this is George Soros. These are his words. Now regardless of what you think of him, regardless of what you think of his crimes against humanity or how he may benefit from this collapse, his analysis here, uh, strictly as an academic analysis, is sound. You should read the article. We'll put it below. The EU is reconsidering their sanctions on uh, Iran, the oil, because they're saying that oil prices may go up above $250 a barrel if they put these in. wonder what that would do to the economy. This U.S. drone that was allegedly shot down in Pakistan, now yeah, it might give away our secrets, but the bigger question is what the heck was it doing there? Has this war started already and we just don't know about it? You know, both Iran and Pakistan are really pushing forward. Uh, they don't look at all like allies. I really think this thing is happening and you know China and Russia have their back. It is what it is, folks. Be safe.